Hey guys and welcome to a therapist task guide at decontamination service. For this one you need to kill 30 scavs on interchange from less than 60 meters and you must be wearing specific gear. That specific gear is a 3M armor and a respirator. So let's just get straight into the armor. So this is the 3M armor. You can get it for 24k. It is quite expensive surprisingly but there is actually a trade from ragman you can do which is you can only get, get two per reset but it is obviously full health um, i believe you have to be tier two for this one yep tier two so a ramid and ripstop is actually quite cheap they're around about the underneath 10k so around about 6k here and then ripstop is the same price so a lot more cheaper and it is full health as well when you buy it i mean I want to say it makes zero difference because it's armor class 2. You're basically wearing paper. But anyway, it is still cheaper than doing it straight from the flea market. You also need a respirator for this. You do actually have to buy this from the flea market. Oh, whoops. Cancel that filter. There you go, the respirator. They are quite cheap. So, buy it. And then there you go. You are... Done. You can loot these quite commonly on scavs, same with the 3M armor. Because you've still got your head slot, you can wear any helmet in the game, but you are basically wearing paper at this point. So it's up to you if you want to wear a decent helmet and then you're basically done. You can wear any rig, obviously you can't wear an armored rig because you've got, you know, armor on. So... Yeah, let's head into interchange and I'll show you the best locations. But before we pop into there, I would recommend if you are going to be running interchange to kill scavs, take a silencer and possibly go for an SMG. So this is a map showing interchange and where, in my opinion, most of the scavs spawn. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a little route that I like to take when doing this run. So we are going to actually start off at the back of Ollie. If you've got the back of Ollie spawn, you can obviously reverse it. So if you spawned at the front of Idea, then like I said, just reverse it. So at the back of Ollie, we are currently here. You got the um, the roundabout just here, and then you got the ramp going up and the crane yard down here. So a decent amount of scavs can spawn down here, round about three to four, and then up along here, all along the ridge right here. This is a it's like a catwalk along the back here. You can get a decent amount of scavs that spawn back here. As well as down here and actually down by the roundabout and over in this little yard down here. You could get round about five to six scavs here. So the, the thing about interchange, right, is there's times you run the map and you all you do is see scavs and you cannot get away from them. And there's times where you can run to each of these locations I'm going to show you and it is just horrendous. So the next location what we're going to do is actually head into Ollie. Okay, so now we're at the front of Volley where the cash registers are. Most of the scavs actually conjugate around this side, whether they like weave in and out of the shelves that have kind of like crashed over at the front of Volley, not all the way down the back down there. They usually weave in and out of these cash registers and shelves. They can sometimes go through the back room over in this direction a few times, but it is quite rarely. Most of the time you do actually see them at the front here. And they can kind of go push back to where the information booth is at the back of Ollie, where you got some lower shelves back there. Now what we're actually going to do is head to the underground section just underneath Ollie right here because there is also another spawn. So for this I'm not actually going to call it, I am just going to do live, live commentary. So what you can do is head down here. And now we are at the car park underneath Ollie. You don't get an awful lot amount of them down here. You can get around about two to three. They do like to wander at the back here. And then they are mainly just round by the truck. You do kind of see, you know, the black outline of them when you're at distance, just how Tarkov works. So when you fit up this location, then what you want to do is actually head to the center of Ollie. Of course, you want to be careful that this map with the recent change has had a huge increase with squads and just a lot more higher skill players not so much medium gear mostly thick boys so when you come up 
the hole in a wall. You are next to where Kibber is, and you got generic with the the tank or the APC. I don't know, whatever. Someone's going to tell me. So at this location, you do get an awful lot of scavs wandering down here. There can be a few inside generic. I personally never seen that many in attic. Actually, I don't think I've seen any in attic. Um, you do usually get killer that likes to lurk in here, but most of them are actually around brutal. You do get killer if if you are here right at the very start. Killer's favorite spawn point is right here, so just be careful. But they do wander all the way up to the front of the store and all the way over to um, Goshen over in that direction. And they also head upstairs as well. They do like to loiter around Jacob and Jacob and the Chinese over here to the right hand side. These two are like the main locations up here. As well as inside Mantis is a, another good spot. The thing about Interchange and Scavs is the fog comes into the center of Interchange. And because it's just a straight line from over here, you know, all the way up, if you're going to sit up here, Scavs can actually see through the fog where we cannot. So there's been times where a Scav has been at the front of the store right here and actually been sniping me where it's thick fog that you cannot see through on top of escalators and it's just kind of it's like they got thermals basically so now what we're gonna do is head over to idea idea doesn't have the highest concentration of scavs and they are definitely a lot more spread out they do wander around the store a lot more than what they do in ollie because in ollie you know they just stay at the front with the cash register but in idea, they do actually head around the display cabinets along the back over in this direction. So you've got kind of like three sections of display cabinets back there. You've got this first one just in here. And then around that corner to the left, you have another set of display cabinets. But they don't usually come to the front right here unless they've seen you. They like to hide behind these cash registers. Until you get down to this section to near where the office is, they do actually push out and head over here into the cafeteria. They don't usually head upstairs. They can do, but recently I haven't actually seen any that actually head upstairs. But they do like to stand behind these little plant pots. And in this area, they do go the entire way down here, all the way down to the green chem light. But their favorite little spot that I found is the cash registers right here and then just in the zone right here in the opening they do like to sit and camp, you know, as scabs do. Now what we're going to do is head to underneath idea. This is another extremely good spot for scabs. You can get a decent amount down here. There's been times where it kind of bugs out and you get like a tagged and cursed thing. Um, I think it's been patched now. I'm not so sure. But you used to get endless scavs spawning down here. So over here on the left hand side is a decent spot for scavs. Along the back over here. And then you got this little glass door right here. This is an extremely potent spot for scavs. You get this is a player scav spawn as well. So if you happen to meet some player scavs. This would be the highest, in my opinion, the highest chance of finding them. But they do like to lurk around and, you know, sit in this area. They do sometimes wander up and down the escalators. They, they do sit underneath the escalators as well. So just bear that in mind. And the biggest tip I'm going to give you when you are fighting scabs. Because you are wearing paper. You're not wearing anything good. Please try and use cover where you can. You know, like this. Just lean around it. Q and E. You can lean if you don't know. Or if you hold down C, mouse scroll. You can actually lean you know, just above the containers or whatever you're hiding behind and shoot. Like, same with this one. I think this is all the way down, actually. Okay, so we're actually blocked. Go up by one and then you can actually zoom over. I oh, know this one's fine. You can also shoot through the glass. So if scabs like to sit behind the cars like they do, your bullets can actually penetrate through the glass. But there are two more spawns that you can check out. Power Station is a very good location. Especially late game. I wouldn't go there early game. By the way, if the alarms isn't siren. So like if the power hasn't been turned on inside of Idea. Careful if you're going to go to Power Station. Because if it's not turned on within the first you know, 20 minutes or so of the raid. Then there's a high chance that someone's camping it. 
and also the tents at the highway at the front of the ultra building so we are currently at the front of ultra as you can see here there are a set of tents over in this direction this is also a decent spot to get a few scavs you, they can vary between you know three or four to almost ten sometimes Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week starting 8 a.m. GMT. Also, we now have a website that has all of the information on my YouTube channel in one location, which will be in the link in the description where you can navigate it very easily and find what you're looking for. Guys, hopefully you found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.